time here again with Good Angle's Weekly Pick 6. This is week 17, the final week of the regular season. Happy New Year, everyone. I hope 2021 is off to a great start. Hopefully, it will be better than 2020. I went 5-1 last week, which is my best week so far. The Steelers spoil my perfect 6-0 week by making a miraculous comeback against the Colts. Magic 8-Ball went 4-2. Since this is the last week of the regular season, I'm going to put my dog Teddy to pick some games too. Let's see if he has a nose for picking NFL games. My first game is the 10 5 Miami Dolphins at the 12 and 3 Buffalo Bills. The Bills are only a two point home favorite. Miami is win and get in for the playoffs. But Roger Fitzpatrick is out for the Dolphins after contracting COVID. So Miami will have to rely on the younger Tua to step up to get them in the playoffs. The Bills are playing great ball and stomped the Patriots last week. I am picking the Bills. Let's see what Magic 8 Ball says. Outlook, not so good. What? He picked the Bills. So these are the picks so far. Next game is a 6 9 Washington football team at the 4 10 1 Philadelphia Eagles. Washington is a three point road favorite. The Eagles' offense has struggled so much, they bench Carson Wentz in favor of Jalen Hurts. The Washington defense is really strong, especially the front seven. Look, somebody has to win this stinky division. So I might as well not let my coin decide. Head this Washington, tails is the Eagles. Head, because it's Washington. Magic 8 ball, what do you say? Outlook, not so good. Magic 8 Ball, you must be broken if you disagree. Teddy, how about you? He picked the Eagles. Our pick so far. The fourth game this week is the 8 and 7 Arizona Cardinals to the 9 and 6 LA Rams. The Cardinals are three point road favorites. The Rams have lost two in a row, including a loss to the Jets. The offense looked terrible against the Seahawks last week. The Cardinals did not look much better against the 49ers last week. Kyler Murray is a little hobble after injuring his leg late in the game last week. Even though Jared Goff has not been playing well, the Rams defense is probably the best unit in this game. So I'm taking the Rams a low scoring game. Magic 8 ball, am I right? Ask again later. Magic 8 ball, am I right? Ask again later. Magic 8 ball, am I right? Ask again later. Magic 8 ball, am I right? Outlook, not so good. Teddy? He. Come on, Teddy. Teddy. He picked the. He picked the car and So the these are our picks so far. The next game is the 12 and 3 Green Bay Packers at the 8 and 7 Chicago Bears. Green Bay is a four point row favorite. The Packers are still trying to lock in the top seat in the first round by and home field advantage. So this is definitely a meaningful game for Aaron Rodgers and crew. The Bears have won three in a row coming into this game, but all three of those teams are bad teams. The Packers will be without their all pro starting center. But the defense should be more than enough to send the Bears into their winter hibernation. I like the Packers to win this one. Magic 8 ball, what do you think? Concentrate and ask again. Magic 8 ball, what do you think? Concentrate and ask again. Magic 8 ball, what do you think? Without a doubt, yay, you agreed. Teddy, how about you? He picked the Packers. So these are the picks so far. So okay, so these are the picks so far. My last game this week is the 11 and 4 Seattle Seahawks at the 6 and 9 San Francisco 49ers. Seattle is a touchdown favorite. The 49ers are really just playing for pride here since they are eliminated from the playoffs. But they do have a stellar defense. They could all the Seahawks offense in check. Still, Seattle's defense has improved, and I think the Seahawks will score enough points to win. Magic eight ball. Outlook, good. Teddy? He picked the Seahawks. Seahawks. Picks this week. Thank you for watching Good Angles Weekly Pick 6. 
Please join me in my quest to get a perfect 6 in a week. Subscribe to my channel and tune in next week as we pick the wild card making games. See you in the playoffs!